Hi everyone, um, in this video I just want to show you that I have successfully tapped into the motherboard power for a Dell uh, 630. I think this may be um, similar or can be applied to a Dell 720, 620, 610 probably and uh, maybe 730 also. Um, so all the, the 610, 620, 630 um, 710, 720, and 730 probably have the same plug right here. So what I'm trying to do here is to draw power, which is five volt power, um, in order to power SSD drive that is totally separated from any of this um, power that is basically not using the drive uh, sleds here or the drive trays. The reason why I don't want to use the drive tray is because I don't really actually need to use all this i just want to have two ssd drives um, that is powered and i don't want to use the existing dell system i just want to power it um, i just want to connect it to these two sata connectors right here for a boot drive um, because of that i need to tap into a source of power for 5 volt and i'm using these two uh, cable that is uh, used to be plugged into this SATA dome disk on memory. So this SATA dome, I'm learning from this cabling right here. So that cabling used to plug into that motherboard plug right there. And it has the same pinout that I'm using here. So let me try to zoom in here. So the, um, the cable that is facing the power supply or the SATA port is the negative and uh, the cable that is facing um, I guess the uh, rate controller uh, on this side right here the red one is the positive 5 volt and I'm using a typical hobbyish cable um, a quick connect cable like this this is uh, known as a, a breadcrumb cable so the cable has female on each side and all I did was um, because the connector is actually tapered I'm using a knife I'm using a utility knife something like this to shave off the sides uh, to make it fit into there so because the um, connector uh, on the motherboard is tapered I have to use a razor knife like this and I am actually just shaving off the corner pieces of it kind of like that just like shaving it off to make a tapered edge and um, keep tapering it off until it's a good tight fit when you plug it in there all right so I've already done that for these two and they're pretty tight uh, they're not I mean you can actually unplug it but they're tight enough where they're not gonna move and I might actually um, probably put some hot glue in there later on to make sure that they don't get pulled out all right so afterwards I am going to test it to make sure that they are 5 volt DC so I'm gonna turn on the server real quick and uh, we're gonna plug in the uh, negative to the black and uh, positive to the red one and you'll see that on the on the meter right there it says uh, it's registering at 5.12 so that's 5 volt all right so what i'm going to do is once hang on a second let me turn this off first Okay, so once I glue it, I'm going to splice and, and get the, um, um, the raw cable here and then I'm going to connect it to a SATA power connector like this. So this is a cable off just a power supply that I have uh, that is broken that I just cut it off. So using something like this, I'm going to splice the, uh, the, the ends of the cable here and then connect the 
the red one to the red one and the black one combined together to the black one. Uh, that will be able to be used to supply um, power to the SSD drive, just a regular SSD drive, so that I can power my boot drive using this. All right, well, I just wanna show you uh, how I tap into that power. Another way to tap into the power is using that USB connector right here. And I have another video showing how to create a USB um, power cable that connects to a SATA power cable. So look for that, that particular video in my list of videos. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please um, hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.